Hi, welcome back to HFP. Today is the 27th of June 2022, which means, well, it's not a month of football. We had the international break and now leagues are finished in most of the European countries and they did not start yet. But the good news is that there are a few exceptions like Sweden, ladies and gentlemen, so we won't be left without football. The Swedish domestic league, the Allsvenskan, is a yearly competition instead of being a season competition. So that means that also because of the weather there in Sweden, it had a longer break in the winter. So it's all the way football in the summer. We're going to travel to the southernmost county of Sweden, Skania in Swedish Skåne. And we will visit the most successful Swedish football club, Malmö FF. The current game is in the round 11 of Allsvenskan, the Swedish first division, and it's going to be a derby. It's not a city derby, it's not a local derby, but it's a regional derby. They are facing the other big team of the county, Skåne, Helsingborgs EF. So now we can see the logos of the two most successful clubs of the Skåne county. Usually any match between two teams from this area is called Skåne derby. We can call Skåne Derby or Scania Derby this match as well. But because of being the two most successful clubs and the most historical match in this county, it's called Slaget om Skåne as well. It's a special name for this match only and it's translated to English as the Battle for Scania. The home team today, Malmö, the record champions and the record cup winners of Sweden. By the way, check the link in the description. I was there at the Swedish Cup final. So they are on the fifth position with 18 points. And if you look at Helsingborg, it hasn't been a really good season for them so far because they have only five points and they are on the 16th on the last place. This means, as you would expect, that Malmö are clear favorites today. This fact is also confirmed if we look at the last 10 meetings between these two that has eight Malmö victories, one draw and one Helsingborg victory. I can't repeat enough times how big honor is to me to go to Sweden every single time. It's going to be the fifth time in the life of this channel. We've been to Gothenburg to visit EF Göteborg and Biko Hecken. We've been to Borås for EF Esborg. We've been to Stockholm for Hammarby EF and today We'll explore a new city. If you're interested in the Swedish content I filmed so far, feel free to check the Sweden playlist on the channel. And back to Malmo for a second before we leave to the Budapest airport. So the venue today, the stadium of Malmo, is called Eleda Stadion or simply Stadion if we call it without a sponsor name. It has a capacity of 22,500 people and a 21,000 capacity for international matches. Let's go. And here we are in Malmö, still a bit more than four hours to go until kickoff. The city airport bus is expensive, as so count on that if you're visiting Sweden, perhaps. My destination, the first one, is uh, my accommodation now. But after that, actually, we have a pretty great community on Instagram, which is which has the same name as the channel itself, Hungarian Football Vlogger. And there I had some chat with uh, a Helsingborg fan and a Malmo fan as well. And they both told me about their meeting points, where the Malmo fans, the home fans, gather before the match and where the Helsingborg fans, the away fans, will arrive today and where they're going to march to the stadium from which spot. So uh, it's still up to, to decide which one it's gonna be. Other useful facts, which I didn't mention in my intro, if you have a very sharp eye, you saw that the last meeting of Malmö and Helsingborg wasn't last year in 2021. The reason for this is that 
passing Borver in the Super in the Swedish second division last year. They got promoted by reaching the third place and then through playoffs. They were a really good team in the first years of the 2010s. They won Al Svenskan in 2011. But ever since uh, since 2011, Malmö won the Allsvenskan six times while uh, Helsingborg were struggling in the second division quite many times. So uh, and Malmö also have a great financial advantage compared to every single Swedish team because of their regular Champions League appearances. So they're by far the richest club. Of Sweden. In the same year as Helsingborg's last league title, so in 2011, there was an incident. A Malmö fan ran onto the pitch and pushed the Helsingborg goalkeeper, and in the end, the match on Malmö's home ground, the same we are going to visit today, it was awarded to Helsingborg because of this incident. But now they are struggling, they are lost. They fired their coach in May after losing at home 1 4 against Varnamo. They had another match before this international break, they lost. 1-2 against Oiko, well, that's actually a fair result. We think that they have a new coach now and uh, quite much like disorganization around the club. So um, it would be a huge thing for them if they want today, but not much chance for that. Look what I found here on the right side. It's a supporters march. Oh. Well, they're saying they hate Malmö. So it must be the supporters march of Helsingborg. Pilda Marna here on the left side. I just love the march after some meters at the next corner because now I need to head towards my own section, which is of course in the home area, one of the Malmo sections. But it was still nice to bump into it. Honestly, this is a pretty nice path leading up to the stadium. You can see all the Malmo fans there just walking casually towards the stadium. We are at the Malmö Stadion now, which has served as the home of Malmö FF until 2009, when the current stadium, Eleda Stadion, was finished. And now, EFK Malmö, third division side, are playing in here. And here we are, just next to Malmö Stadion. It's our venue today, the ground of Malmö FF. We'll take a look inside the fan shop before we go inside the stadium. We're here to arrive at matches by bike. <laughs> it's a bit of Amsterdam feeling. A young Malmö fan here with me. Tell us what you like the most about Malmö. Well, the thing I like the most about Malmö is probably the reason that it always surprises you what you're gonna do. There it can be like 0 0 in the 89th minute and they just score, and it just brings so much joy to you. So it just always keeps surprising you. Will you beat Helsingborg today? Yeah, of course. Uh, the score will probably... I I predict it will be 2-1 uh, today. Uh, I have high hopes. It's a good weather and uh, a little bit windy, but we will score. You won the cup after 30 years. How does it feel? Well, it feels amazing. It just so, feels so great uh, to win the cup. Uh, yeah, especially after 30 years. It just feels so good inside of you. Letter H, this is our entrance. Here we are. Once more the titles, which you saw in the fan shop as well. Here, 
at the side of the stadium. Helsingborg fans are just arriving there. Of course, it's a separated area over there between home sections and the away section. We're inside. Section 44, row 11 is our next target. Oh, pretty unique entering system here. Here we are, a new ground in the channel's life. The stadium of Malmö. Here we go. Oh, look at that pure view of the full house stadium. Malmö Ultras over there. Helsingborg Ultras will be over here. And we got the perfect view on a match. Supporters kick off with a pyro. And the first half is started by passing body. Mistake by Malmö could be a big chance for Helsingborg. Really big chance, great shot over the bar. Wonderful skills there. It's only a chance for Helsingborg. Cross. He cleared away. So we won him with the ball. Great skill from him. Mama keep the ball. Amazing switch there. Moving the ball about really nicely. And a pass behind. Left side cross can come in. Amazing tackle. High quality match.
chance. Biggest of the match so far in the 10th minute. What was missed? Hit the bar. 22nd minute, Mom a free kick. Miscalculated by the keeper and it almost got dangerous in the end. Great play from Mama. Cross. The rebound could be there. Deflected and out for a corner. We're in the 24th minute. Corner for the light blues. And the header. take the lead in the Skona Derby after 24 minutes header by Chiesa Tallinn oh look at that explosion spectacular from now on. I think this was needed. was expecting beforehand to be honest is a cage attitude from Helsingborg but they led quite many counters uh, that's what we saw actually and they could have got the lead earlier as well then Malmo it was Malmo in the end but they were imagine a pitch those spots those 11 spots difference on the table could not be seen uh, well the first goal great header but still it was a bit of a goalkeeper mistake I think and an equalizer a big defensive mistake you only saw the shot but it was partly about mistakes it was about great counters as well let's see about the second half and Malmö started the second half Oh, 
guy is dangerous every now and then. Really the best player of passing board. No way on him. Inside the box, Helsingborg. Side net, corner. Getting tired, not as good tempo as the first half, and housing board dropping back now and defending the 1 1 draw. They can still come away once on a counter, but Malmo have the bigger chances now, but it's still tough for them to face this defense. Eight players from housing board defending behind the ball. Malmo can still get the cross in. Chance at the far post. <laughs> That's 
They didn't play particularly well in the second half, neither of the teams, to be honest, was sloppy, but a deciding moment came in the end. We had some big Malmö chances in the second half, but overall it was boring from my point of view, definitely. But in the end, the day was saved by a substitute from Malmö's side, came in the 89th minute and scored not even two minutes later. So 2-1, it's always great to see as a neutral, the home stands blowing up and celebrating so crazy, just like Malmö today. So it's definitely more interesting than a draw. I hope you enjoyed today's content, I hope you learned something and I hope that I could give you back the atmosphere which I experienced here in Malmö in Eleda Stadion. Next week it's Sweden again, so yeah, you can count on some Allsvenskan matches, some other Allsvenskan matches from the round 12. I was AJFV, see you next time guys, goodbye. <laughs>